Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I shall be rounding up my event season of 2022 with my horse Ruffian where we move from B100 to our first season of doing BE Novice. It has been such an achievement to get Ruffian to BE Novice level um, having produced him myself from just turned four year old. Since this being our first season attempting Novice we actually placed top 10 at every single novice event we did. Um, this season we were very very successful but I will talk to you through all the events of the season and in these first few clips these are the dressage clips at Tweezledown where Ruffian and I did our first event of the season as you can see he's still um, you can see his clip um, and this was at Tweezledown doing the BE100. We finished on our dressage score of 31.5 and jumped double clear inside the time um, and I remember being really really pleased with him uh, throughout this event as it was quite a chilly day I remember and he was quite fresh um, and he managed to keep his cool throughout the day um, and he jumped really beautifully for me um, and we took it quite steady around the cross country which uh, was really promising for the rest of the season ahead as he found um, getting inside the time really easy and he jumped around really confidently which was another indication to me that he was ready to step up a level um, and compete uh, at novice throughout the year. Our first official B novice was at Sirencester Park um, and both Ruffian and I were very nervous. Um, quite a few professionals were there at the start of the season. I was really nervous about the dressage test and encountering all of the new movements um, and just getting to know how Ruffian coped with a bit more of a busy environment, um, which he did absolutely brilliantly. In our test we got a 33.5 which at the time I was really really pleased with and I was just really pleased he didn't change legs in his counter canter. However on this day we did get four faults in the show jumping. I got the middle part of the treble combination down as the nerves just got to the better of me and um, novice is the first level where you have to jump a triple combination and it just got to the better of me. Um, so a silly rider error but Ruffian jumped absolutely amazing and jumped over the last very very carefully for me. And then we actually finished on a score of 37.5 as we then jumped an absolutely amazing clear inside the time cross country which gave me the best feeling. Go on Ruff. Gate combination Woo! 13 as Louise. Two out right. Good boy. Right, and we finished ninth in our first ever novice together. And then, and then, and then, Ruffian got very, very fit and felt very, very well about himself. And this was at our next event, which was Oxstalls in the BE105, so it was the level below the novice, which I entered him for, just in case the novice didn't go to plan and it knocked both of our confidence, which it didn't, in, in fact grew our confidence. But sadly, Ruffian, for whatever reason, on this particular day, uh, was absolutely wired. <laughs> uh, we had a pole down. Um, I think we did get quite a good dressage score. We scored a 28.3 and then on the cross country as you can see I schooled him round. I made him wait because you can watch him come out the start box rather rather keen and pulling my arms out um, which I just thought was a bit unnecessary so after fence one I just said whoa calm yourself you've been crazy all day let's just have a nice play around and he jumped beautifully clear but we did get 9.2 time faults because I used it as a schooling round um, because he's more than capable but he was just being rather silly um, it did snow on this day so maybe it was just again another cold fresh day and he's just a little bit fit and feeling a little bit too well but we finished safe and sound And then our next event was another BE Novice, which was at Burnham Market International. 
So it was quite a big deal. Um, I remember being very nervous for this event, um, but for whatever reason, Ruffian went back to being his old self and he was very rideable, very calm and very relaxed. I remember being really pleased with his dressage test. However, you can see here, we just had a little mistake where in the counter canter, he went for a change, but he stayed relaxed. He didn't get angry about it. And we actually did a really, really beautiful test. And I remember being very pleased with it. And looking back at the footage now at the end of the year he looked really relaxed really supple um and yeah looking back that was a, that was a really nice test riding around OFS, I then remember hearing my dressage score and thinking, oh gosh, I really hope I go clear. Having walked the show jumping course, it was really up to height. It was a proper international course. Having walked the cross country as well, I thought, oh, we've got quite a lot of jumping ahead of us on this day. And we were jumping very late in the day. I remember it was sunset, um, especially jumping into the water jump. I could barely see the water and the reflection. I thought of the water, Ruffian might have a bit of a problem with, but he just jumped extra big into the water and we jumped double clear inside the time and we finished fifth in our first ever international at BE novice level. Then our next BE event was at Horseheath in the novice section and we got a 31.8 dressage which I remember looking back on it and thinking is quite a lethargic test from Ruffian and myself. Um, yes, I'm not sure why it was a bit sort of mediocre. I remember not feeling too pleased after the test. I feel like we both could have put a little bit more effort in but nevertheless I remembered the test which is always the main goal for myself um, and I remember the show jumping course being really good and I was really nervous for it because it was on quite a slope um, and he jumped a fabulous clear and then we jumped an absolutely amazing clear cross country however we did pick up some time faults not for going too slowly but for going way too quick and I think we got 2.8 time faults for going too speedy but it was an absolutely brilliant course the water combination was causing a lot of problems but Ruff was very bold and brave and he hopped in and then jumped the jump in the water and then it was had a very good use of undulating ground this course I remember and there was a couple of combinations right at the end of the course um, so with a tired horse you had to be really careful but Ruffian was really full of running and jumped clear and we placed sixth at Horseheath. Our next event was in Wales at Howick and we placed I believe we placed fifth again in this novice but I remember this day being not the best on paper we scored a 25.8 dressage which was really good and then we sadly had four faults in the show jumping which was the first part of the combination the treble combination and then we actually ended up having quite a few time faults for being a little bit too slow and because it was in Wales it was very very hilly and I think that actually the hills just got to the better of us. And I do remember the going being very, very deep and wet um, because it had been raining all day, which you can see in the show jump warm up. You can see the ground was obviously quite bad. Um, and we actually got six time faults for going too slowly, which I was really surprised by because Ruffian's such a big moving horse and he's got such a brilliant gallop on him. So when we're galloping across the country, he always feels like he's going quite quickly. And having been too quick at our last BE event at Horseheath. I was a bit conscious on time so I think all of these factors just played a part in getting a few time faults for going a bit too slowly but we still placed fifth um, and I was really really pleased with Ruff and the conditions of this day. I do remember it being quite slippy underfoot. Thank you. 
And next to our BE event at Tweezledown, this time doing the novice. So at the start of the season, we obviously did the BE 100. And now in the middle of the season, when England was having its heat wave, um, I think it was about 30 degrees competing. Luckily, I was at the end of the day, so it wasn't too bad. But I do remember it being absolutely scorching hot. And you can tell by the grass, it's totally dead it's been burnt um you can see in the show jumping how dusty it is i was wearing studs just because um it was so slippery i just wore very small pointy ones with ruff um just to stop him slipping um but ruffian did absolutely amazingly in the conditions that we were riding in and tweezel down is very sandy soil anyway so the ground wasn't too hard um, but we scored a 31 in the dressage and then we jumped an amazing double clear inside the time which I was very surprised by as it was so hot I wasn't pushing for time but Ruffian got bang inside the time and we actually ended up winning um, our first ever novice at Tweezledown and I was absolutely over the moon and I was totally shocked to be honest I hadn't quite believed it when I'd finished my cross country round. And then our last event before Gatcombe Horse Trials was at Islam doing the BE Novice as well and I remember using this as a schooling day. I wanted to run through a test in sitting trot which I would have to do at Gatcombe um, and I ride in a jump saddle. Um, I do dressage, show jumping and cross country all in the same saddle so I find sitting trot very hard um, in a jump saddle especially on Ruffian who is quite a active mover. Um, anyway, we scored a 26.5 in the dressage, which I was really pleased with, and then a really annoying four faults, which happened to be the first fence in the show jumping, and then we went clear inside the time cross country, um, which was a really enjoyable round. Um, and surprisingly, with the four faults, we even managed to secure a second place at this event, which I was really, really pleased with and excited to go to Gatcombe at this point. And then Ruffian and I managed to get to Gatcombe, which was our most big event planned for the 2022 season. Um, I was really lucky to qualify and Ruffian and I were really honoured to be there and we gave it our best shot. Um, our dressage test I was really pleased with, um, however we scored a 36.1 which I wasn't too pleased with but obviously just not what the judges were looking for but we had plenty to take away and work on and then I was really looking forward to the jumping phases. Now jumping, it's Sir Josephine Gleeson riding her own OFS Ruffian, 36.1. I remember the crowds at Gatcombe in the show jumping threw Ruffian off a little bit. Um, it was quite loud and it was obviously the biggest crowd we jumped in front of, um, hence why the first few jumps were a little bit awful. Um, and then we got it together and then really sadly we just hit the first part of the treble combination down um, and just had the four faults. But I was so pleased with his round. Again, it was a very built up to height course in the show jumping in such a large arena and with such a busy environment. I think Ruff did really well and kept as cool as much as he could um, as I know he's quite a quirky horse so um, I was a bit nervous with the show jumping but looking back I was really really pleased with him and he was really workmanlike um, and again on the cross country he absolutely ate it up we were up on the clock I remember thinking you know we've got this um, we've jumped most of the course we just had the final water combination to get to um, which he jumped a little bit sticky which made me lose my balance lose a stirrup and therefore result in a really really misjudged jump out of the water which sadly resulted in a bit of a puncture wound for Ruffian and it did end our event season here sadly but I couldn't be more proud of Ruffian throughout this season um, he was absolutely fine he only needed a couple of weeks off to rest um, um, but I was moving back to university and I thought that he can finish his season here happy and sound um, and I can tackle 2023 with a nice fresh horse um, having had the winter off. But thank you all so much for watching and watching all my eventing videos and vlogs throughout the summer as well and please like and subscribe for more videos and I'm really looking forward to the 2023 season with Ruffian.